start of the last quarter at Western Oval. Footscray leading by 44 points. It's Reed beating Dittrich, got a bigger leap. Green now running in from uh, the side. Could be across. And down to the forward line. John Reed now for Footscray, out to the half-back flank. Oh, good mark there to Lowe. Been a pretty useful player today, Lowe. 14 kicks, says so. And onto uh, Jennings, a row. Footscray's hand passing, foot passing uh, of left, some Kula lamenting. It's just Perivik having trouble to get down and pick it up. Elliot comes out with the ball, but the whistle's gone. And uh, the umpire's going to ball it up. That's in Footscray's half forward flank. Dempsey, of course, 24 and Ditwich. And Dempsey's beaten Ditwich when he's been on the ball. Dunton's been a great player, kicked five goals. And that was Ditwich. Jennings with a run to the ball, having to come around now and kick the other way. Into the forward pocket. Good mark, Perivic. Seventh mark. Footscray by 44 points, Perivic. Bruce Reed. Green from behind. Up over the centre, looking for Hunt. Murray is there. Good hip and shoulder by both of them. Hunt looked for the free kick as you came out of the pack. O'Keefe will get a free kick for that. Bond. Oh, he heard footsteps. <laughs> Gary Wheeler it was, so I'll probably hear them myself, I'd say. Scrubby old kick goes to Dunstan. Hand pass. Out to Jennings again, and Footscray looking good. Bruce Reed draws a player, the player is power. Hurried kick. Elliot, Robert. Baker. Knock on by Sartori. Dinatali. Evans, number 22. <laughs> he ain't heavy, he's my teammate. <laughs> well, my position. Dempsey. <laughs> first place, 22nd goal. Dempsey's first. Of course, this is Footscray's biggest score for the season. And after the trouble and start they had for the year, I think it's a great effort. 51 points now, Footscray up. North Melbourne being easily beaten by Richmond. Did Three you? minutes in the final quarter. Low. Reed John. Perivic play on the court. Free kick there to uh, Dunn. Or is it going Footscray's way? No, it looks like St Kilda's. It's going to Dunn. St Kilda's big problem is haven't been able to chase today. Uh, I haven't seemed to be chasing as well as they should, which means that uh, they look slow. And of course, it's costing the game. Out to Tweeddale, and he judged that uh, flight well. Boots the ball down to Hunt at centre half forward. Big fellow, he's hard to uh, outmark. Six marks for Hunt, who's an interchange player, and didn't get on the ground until the second term. And he's kicked uh, one gone over. Ooh, that one, make the distance. Look at the high flyers. Oh, good play, good thinking by Dinatale, the little rover. And he jabs his foot of that one up towards the, uh, the weak position. That's Scanlon. Dempsey was behind him, and call for it. And he, oh, too slow and making up his mind, and Bonks got him. Dimitch takes the kick and just pops it to Tweeddale. Had a very poor two quarters, the first two. Uh, got a few kicks in the third, getting a few in this last. Down towards the side bottom, and Wheeler, with magnificent judgment, takes one right in the lap. Terry Wheeler. <laughs> up for Dempsey again. Elliot. Oh, Dempsey nearly got it. Stoneham gets a call from Jennings, and they're clear. 
He's got a bit of toe, yes. He runs away from his opponent. Not that uh, Dunn and Satori are all that slow, are they? Bruce Reed in direct completely. But Kelly's out there by himself. Kind of time to look. He gets a bit of a funnel after he kicks it, but there's no advantage play on free kick. Whitten picks it up. Fires for goal. It's Bruce back in. And it's a behind, but didn't miss by very much. Two goals won to Ted Whitten Jr. Timber Barker fumbled that little bit of play. But no one near him to worry him. Temple has uh, had a tack of the cramp, so he can't chase anymore. And uh, he is done in a panic all by himself. Short run to Robert Elliott. Uh, Secure the starting to break up their game. They've been outmaneuvered, outrun, out handball, out marked, everything today. And there's a chance with three of them there. The racehorse Graham Bond gets it onto his boot and he lets fly with a long kick, but not on target. And another behind to the Saints. Well, he could have run just about right in from there, and he didn't even look when he eventually kicked the ball, so it only deserved it behind. Footscray by 50 points, coasting in the last quarter, Dempsey. It's 13,000th mark. 11th for the day. Stevens. Jennings. Templeton dummies back and towards the goal area. And then he dummies back the other way and leaves Trevor Barker, one of the most agile players in football today, flat-footed and takes his 12th mark. He's kicked seven goals, seven. Footscray's 23rd. They lead by 56 points. Footscray 23-12, 150. St Kilda 14-10, 94. And there he is, the champion full forward in VFL football at the present time, undoubtedly, Kelvin Temple. And for the season, that makes it 73 goals he's kicked. And he's kicked 30 goals in the last four matches. It's still uh, almost, uh, I'd say, 20 minutes to go in this one. Dempsey, been a wonderful player. Dead heat there with he and Didrich. Didrich, very agile, put in a good performance today, Didrich. Quickly onto O'Keefe. O'Keefe down to side bottom. Side bottom hasn't moved from the forward pocket or forward forward all, all day. He's kicked two goals there, but he's not fit. The free kick has been sounded off there and uh, awarded to Spence. Now he's in the back pocket. Very confident Footscray team today. Dempsey gave him the lead and uh, his umpteenth thousandth mark that he's taken. He's taken them apart. Good mark there or attempt by Perovic. Didn't come off. Brilliant second quarter by both teams when uh, 13 goals were scored. Footscray 10 and secure the three. That was Reed. Perovic tried hard. Finds Tweed down. Swing him in onto his kicking foot. Beautiful pass to Breen and company. As Wheeler had punched it away. 48 is done. No tap it on. Uh, I need the Gu Guernsey. <laughs> Barry Green. Into half forward, straight to Lofts. Big Jeff Saru down in the forward area, so I'm kicking high and kick it to me. But Rex Hunt is also down there and Dempsey to try and thwart them all. But it's in the pocket giving Saru the chance. Bit of a push there. No, he's going to pay the mark. Yes, and nor can I. <laughs> Seventh mark to Jeff Saru. He's kicked one goal, one. Abby giving him a little bit of instructional work there to the umpire. John Wright. Yes, it is. He killed his 14th goal. The second to Jeff Saru. Should I say, St. killed his 15th goal. They're 15 10 100 now. And there's the giant Ruckman. Very powerful footballer. Footscray 23 12, 150. It's back to 50 points. Really, the scoring's been quite uh, even, uh, apart from the second quarter when Footscray won it. That's when they, they booted 10 goals, 4 to St Kilda's 3 4. 
and Dunstan and Temple have kicked three each, and Witten also on the forward line kicked two goals. Uh, and it was all over then, and it's been an even game since. Dittrich and Tim Dempsey. Bond's been a great try for the Saints today, looking for Hunt. That's Wheeler with a clever pat out the back. The player had his arm held, that was Curry. And he'll take the free kick. Free kicks, strangely enough, have gone to Kilmer's way today with quite a percentage. Oh, Ooh, maybe he just ducked. Uh, could have been a lot worse than that. He's OK. Yeah. Good thinking by uh, Stone on that. Ditwich, mark number four. The handball down to uh, Satori and Tweedale battling. Tweedale still battling to George Young. Good smother it. Saru, been a good player. Done. To O'Keefe, and it's a goal. And that's one of the best pieces of football that St Kilda have put together today. But I believe it's a little too late. Well, Mike Patterson was very critical of the Saints when they had four losses on the board. But he was a little hardened last week by the fact that they scored 19 goals. Well, they've scored 16 today, but they still trail by 44 points. So even goal scoring hasn't helped them all that much in the past couple of weeks. by Bryant, Dittrich and Bruce Reed, although uh, Breen is closer, so he decides to go. <clears throat> That's Dunstan. Sartori, 49. That's a good mark. In four minds, he, yes, he even changes his mind at the last moment again. That's Baker, but he does it himself, Sartori. Hunt. Well, he didn't uh, come on until uh, certainly well into the game, but he's added a bit of marking power down there. Breen back to Hunt. There's a little to do behind play. I think players just trip themselves up. Here's side bottom now. There's a bit of jostling going on. I think it's going side bottom's way too. Now it's going the other way. Going to Smith's. Yeah, yeah. Fullback. Side bottom's not going for the ball with two hands. He's holding the player with the other. Stoneham. Advantage free kick to play down the field to Hawkins. Stanham fell. Footscray by 44. Back to Stoneham, who's really in form at the moment. He's one play with tremendous potential that on his day sometimes doesn't give enough for Footscray, but by golly, the couple of times I've seen him play this year, he's been a tremendous player. Witten out to Abbey. And Templeton's got his name on this again. No play on the call. That was Scanlon over the top of Barker, still holding on to him. Barker will take the free kick, rightly so. In the back pocket, Barkley straight in. 14th kick to Trevor Barker. He was moved on to Templeton. After Templeton had kicked five, Breen was taken off him, and since then, Templeton has only added two to his tally. But from 15 kicks, he's had 14 scoring shots for goal. Dempsey's 13th mark, and here's Templeton again. Oh, he's got it this time. No doubt about that one. 12th mark. This will be his 16th kick. He's had 14 scoring shots. He's kicked seven goals, seven. Eight goals, seven, should I say. And that's his ninth. Ninth goal, so nine goals, seven, should I say, from 17 scoring shots. So there's been only one kick in his repertoire today that hasn't gained some sort of score result. Footscray's 24th. They're back to a 50-point lead. And what a big chance at Kelvin Temple that will be to boom right over the 100 goals for the year because so far for the season, uh, he has kicked uh, 74 goals. Another 26 for the 100 with nine games to go. It's a sad story for the Secure Club. Barry Breen taking the free kick for pushing the back. Kicking down towards uh, Rex Hunt. Murray wasn't tripped by Hunt. I didn't think he was tripped. He went down uh, as Hunt moved away. He tripped himself, I'd say. He got the umpire in. And a 
Rita plus penalty. And now he's the kicker. Quickly down to Jennings, who shoves himself off, gives uh, a boot down towards uh, Dempsey. <laughs> Stoneham takes it though. Quickly out to uh, Scanlon, a beautiful pass. No, it wasn't. I'll take that back. It was too long for uh, Templeton. And the ball's out of play in Footscray's forward pocket. And Templeton with nine goals on the board. The Footscray players are looking for him now at every opportunity. Saru, a beautiful tap over to Perovic. Out wide to Sartori. He's, he, he can run here. Breen gives him a call. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> Out of bounds on the ball. Can't do a thing right. A trail by 50 points. Ian Lowe. Reed, Bruce. Big Welsh. Who's got it? Not Templeton again. Oh, heavens above. Incredible. 14th mark. Well, Breen couldn't hold him. And now Barker's having a tremendous amount of trouble. This will be his tenth goal. Oh, no, it won't be. Nine goals, eight, Gilbert, so far. Now running out of space in the football record with 17 little crosses next to his name. 157 plays 106. By gee, there's going to be a lot of people, uh, more people going through the gates when Footscray are playing football from now on, uh, certainly because people love watching a top class full forward. And that's just what Kelvin Templeton is. <laughs> yeah, I think they must appreciate that too, that uh, Kelvin's goal and someone's snaffled the football. This is the spear coming on. And, uh, oh, a good mark for the uh, goal on right. <laughs> Rather enthusiastic crowd today as Barker puts the ball back into play to Saru. Was okay. Wolf picks up the loose ball, drives it for goal, and just shaves the post for a behind. Barker again. Dunstan and Saru, or oh, Stone have got a high. Dunstan back with a bit of a flick. Denatali in towards Jennings. Templeton will get a free kick. No, he won't. It's going to be a goal to Scanlon, his second. And his reigning goal at the moment. Footscray's 25th. There's no doubt that they're going to kick the sweep today. 25 goals, 14. 16 goals, 10. And it's a long while since the Footscray supporters have been treated to an exhibition like this. A win like this. And for a club that certainly was at rock bottom after three or four rounds of football and all the strike was on, they've recovered remarkably well. Footscray by almost 10 goals. Half out of it there by Reed. His brother Bruce gets the football now. Out to the half forward front. Really, as he holds up a show, and that's young uh, Douglas Hawkins, who's kicked three goals in the third term. Down to Templeton once more. He's the magnet. Welsh with a good pat. The Perovic's been working overtime today on that back line for St Kilda and put it in well. Vinatale, George Young. Play several roles today, yeah, yeah. although he did kick four goals, four straight goals, in fact. The kick taken by Scan. Tempered looking for the free kick because he was held. <laughs> but Empire says, No, you were not. I'd be happy with my Kelvin if I was you. <laughs> and now Barker's going to wait for someone to throw it back to him. And Uncle Carl did that. Barker, taking off to time, that's all we need to uh, in this match. The Saints have lost it. Stone poor effort, but a push at the back, he'll get the free kick. 
Interesting to note, Jeff, that uh, Green didn't come back after half time with his bad knee. Yes. And also, McDonald was taken off the ground and hasn't reappeared. Their boom recruit. Standing ovation from all supporters at the Western Oval. Footscray's 26th goal, they lead by 64 points. Everyone loves a champion, and that's what Kelvin Temple it is. Footscray to attack quickly, uh, Reaper in entirely quickly across to uh, Whit or Dunstan. A high fly was Welsh and Temple once more, a dribbling shot right across the front of goal, and it's through for a behind. Ten goals, nine. It's a long while since the full forwards had 19 shots for goal. Ten goals has been kicked plenty of times, I know. Got to have at least that many kicks, doesn't he? 20 kicks for 19 yeah, scoring good. shots. Barker, oh, here's a chance. Hawkins. Everybody converges on Templeton. Hawkins is going to take his time. And going towards centre half forward for Dunstan. De Natale. Dunstan. He has a look for goal number six. No, oh, he's done it too. Don't worry about that. Footscray's 27th goal. They lead by 11 goals, 5. Ian Dunstan, 6 goals, 3. Templeton, 10 goals, 9. And George Young was in killed of 4 goals. Twenty-seven goals, 15 would be the highest score that Footscray kicked in a long time. Reed beats Didrich. Dinatale gets it onto his boot. Puts way to attack. Repeatedly in this final turn. Hawkins has grabbed it, didn't have it. Take the free kick. Oh, took the chance with the handball, but he did find uh, Stoneham. He finds Welsh and he's grabbed. Good tackle from O'Keefe. Welsh not a fast move at any time, but uh, particularly in the last quarter. But he refuses to surrender the ball. To the 15 metre penalty. Of course, that little effort. And off goes O'Keefe. Oh, Abby's giving a mighty run from the back of the pack. Good tip there. This is John Reed. Free kick against uh, Wheeler to Green. Free kick against Green to Wheeler. And he steers out across to his teammate Power. Power out to the wing. Almost on the half volley. To low. And a handball on the ground to Reed and back to Power. And he's fumbled it. And they can do no wrong chosen people today, Footscray players, as Lowe gets a kick to the half-forward line, and the ball's out of play. Dittrich and Dempsey. Stoneham. Templeton again and Barker. Oh, yes, well, well done. This will be about his 15th kick, Trevor Barker. Dittrich and Dempsey. Incredible. Oh, 14th mark to Dempsey. Dunstan, tackled too high, breaks it. Lines up for goal number seven. And it is. And Footscray's 28th. I think a first class team, uh, though, Peter, with uh, so many players kicking goals, with Templeton and Dunstan kicking 17 between them. Dunson to Ruck Rover. It's incredible, Jeff, that uh, St Kilda could win five and a half of their first seven games 
then lose the next yeah. six straight, That's which right. they've done today. 26 hits to the instant. Classic stages of the last quarter. Dempsey gets up and beats uh, again. And Dunstan puts it out of tempo and he gets a push in the back. <laughs> Goodness me. <mate. laughs> to the 11th goal coming up. I tell you what, just looking at the outer, Jeff, those St Kilda supporters are absolutely all right, but if you get in front and get a push, well, that's where you're supposed to be. Templin, hoping to kick his 11th goal. Looks good. Tip, and players rush in from everywhere. I don't know whether that's his top score for the year, but anyone who kicks 11 goals in football today is a genius. Hello, a couple of people running on the ground. They'll be ushered off very quick, smart. I can't see any police about, but they're making their way towards Templeton. And the players are saying, get off, get off. In fact, Phil <laughs> Stevens is chasing somebody off. <laughs> a couple of Footscray trainers there, one anyway, just protecting him. But uh, it's all in good fun as far as these uh, Footscray supporters are concerned. And that's Templeton's 11th goal and Footscray's 29th. Well, he's kicked six goals against Trevor Barker. And five goals against... Uh, very brief. Oh, Dempsey's, uh, he's a giant temperament and ability and uh, physically. Duxton once again, Footscray, take the ball away from centre at will. Oh, another free kick. Poor old Trevor Barker's done his lolly. Uh, frustrated out of his mind. And the outer, of course, is hardly anybody there now. They've all gone home. It's been a holocaust for St. Gilda today. Temple on shooting for his 12th. <laughs> oh! How do you like that, Mr. Pete? 30 Which goals to put straight. 30 goals. And I venture to say that he'll be chaired off the ground. 12 goals, 9 from 22 kicks. Incredible. And Robert Elliott has been taken up to pull back to replace Trevor Barker at the 26-minute mark in the last quarter. What a silly move. Just, there we go. Footscray's finest hour. Standing on the end of that chain of hand passes, Temple and again in the frame, got it! Well, they're giving him everything, let's face it. <laughs> That's three marks, three charity marks I've given to Temple, and the 15 marks would have to be his greatest performance ever. Certainly with Footscray. He's only missed with one scoring shot, with one shot rather, one kick. And Temple, 13 goals. Footscray's 31st. 13 goals, 9 from 23 kicks. Uh, he's kicked 6 goals in this last quarter. He kicked 2 in the third quarter. He kicked 3 in the second and 2 in the first. Coming home like a champion. Absolutely amazing performance by Kelvin Templeton. Well done. A 95-point lead, uh, Footscray, they're led by 44 at three-quarter time, so that gives you some example of what they've done. In fact, we'll have a look. They've kicked 10 goals for this quarter. This and killed us two goals, one, which matches their performance in the second quarter. Here they go again. De Natale across to Welsh. He'll handball to Templeton. Now he goes in board, looking for Hawkins. He'll go for Templeton. There he is in the pocket. He gets pushed out of the way, Templeton. And there'll be a ball up, will there? A ball up in Footscray's left forward pocket. Yes, their score in this quarter equals their 10 goals for in the second quarter. Let's see whether they can better that or not. It's in their forward pocket now. Saru will get the free kick. Footscray, 31-15, 201. St Kilda, 16-10, 106. Saru, oh, it's partly smothered. Here's trouble low. Templeton, 14th. He's done it. He's done it. Second goal.
Yeah, and they've practically doubled St Kilda's score. 32, 15, 207. St Kilda 16, 10, 106. And Footscray had a 10-goal burst in the second quarter and now an 11-goal burst in this amazing last quarter. This may be their highest score ever. I'd like to check the check the facts and figures on that. Full of running. The Bulldogs in the last quarter. Free kick to St Kilda for a push at the back. Going to Jeff Saru and the crowd full of booze. And to uh, rub it in, he drop kicks a mighty 70 metre kick right down to the half forward line, and Hunt receives a push in the back. <laughs> Says, calls to Allah. Long kick, side bottom, swiped away from him by Spence, and that's the end of that passage of play. It's out of bounds. St Kilda's 16 goals, not a bad score, you know, but when you compare it to 32 15. <laughs> It just doesn't rate. Oh, a great uh, thump there by Dempsey. Entertaining match this one for football fans. Even though it has been one-sided. Batting it out as Abby uh, can't get off the ground. 32 is Dunson, who's been the champion. He's kicked uh, seven. At 28 kicks, you know, and Dunstan. Seven goals and three behinds. He's been a very useful player. But Temple, of course, the star. Dempsey Corsford on the other side of the ground. Powers 21. This is low. Pass coming down towards the wing. To Whitten and uh, back to power. This guy on the rampage again. Temple to get the fly from the back. Oh! They've played it. And thousands of children on the ground, at least a thousand. But the siren hasn't gone yet. That's his 16th, 16th mark. And he's hit 14 goals, and play will be held up here for at least three or four minutes, I feel sure. Uh, this would be a record goals kicked in the match for a Footscray play, I'd say. He's kicked 14 goals, nine, and there he is, number 31, the star of the moment. The greatest full forward to happen to league football since Doug Wade and Peter Hudson. You know, he missed half a last season through injury. That's right. Sustained in the interstate game. And there's the coach, Don McKenzie. <laughs> He's on the ground. Now, I'm just wondering, Jeff, you know, can he be on the ground? As far as I know, the siren hasn't gone. It hasn't gone yet. And he's kicked it. That's his 15th. And the crowd come back. The crowd come back. The siren's gone, is it? I haven't heard the siren go, but it must have gone. There is absolute confusion here. Our players are still on the ground. Nobody has moved. I'm sure the siren hasn't gone. The umpires feel it has. The, para, the trooper is out on the ground to give the umpires protection, plus a couple of, well, three or four policemen. But play has been halted. The siren hasn't gone. Templeton has kicked his 15th goal, and Footscray have scored their 33rd. Players, players signing autographs out there. <laughs> but the amazing thing that when the players, uh, when that mark was taken and the crowd came on, that the Footscray coach actually came onto the playing arena. Footscray 33-15, 213, St Kilda 16-10, 106, and players are dispersing now. Uh, rather, the, uh, the people on the ground are dispersing. The players also do their various positions and will start play again very shortly. But this has been an amazing day. How many goals templed in this quarter, Kevin? Eight this quarter. <laughs> and it's been a 12-goal quarter by Footscray. Well, I thought some of the secure players may have smoked themselves off with the crowd. Bad day for the Saints. A shocker. They go down as uh, one of their worst in history. And of course, for Footscray, one of their greatest. I think this could be their highest score. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the players went off the ground. They're coming back again. <laughs> it's been a 34 minute quarter so far. And this will go 37 minutes at least. <laughs> well, 
Could be a good question for uh, Don McKenzie tonight too, uh, Jeff. Uh, what made what prompted him to come onto the ground? Well, back with the action. We could be here till midnight the way things are going. And here's Jeff Lee. Well, you see, you see something new uh, all the time. You learn something every day. But I've yet to see that happen in a football ground where the players actually got off the ground. They were signing autographs. <laughs> and it uh, may happen again. He slips by into attack. Down towards Templeton. Everyone's looking for him. And there he goes. He gets his magic hands on it. Welsh threw himself in. Templeton number 31, in case you don't know. And Welsh with a handball back to the man in the back pocket, in the forward pocket, and Stoner. And I think it will be, will be balled up. Quarter's gone for 35 minutes. Well, Welsh, and now it's uh, Evans and... St Kilda coming back into the into this half back line, picked up by Power to put it straight back to the forward pocket. And Barker takes that mark, kicks it out uh, to the centre. Mark to O'Keefe on the bomb. <laughs> He's going. His bionic legs, I think, uh, Graham Bond. Runs all day. Footscray can take the top, the cream off that uh, little effort. Reed with a handball. <laughs> Jim is uh, scanning out his feet for Footscray. He has the ball now. A tweet down. Has a look. Tries to find Reed. Great <laughs> performance at the Western Oval by the home side Footscray. All the action that went with him. The final scores. Footscray 33 15, that's 213 to St Kilda's 16 10, 106. Peter Booth. Just waiting to see whether they chair Templeton off the ground or not, but I don't think they will be. And they'll get him out of that uh, quick smart. There's Gary Dempsey. Tremendous applause from everybody here at Footscray. Very proud of their team's performance today.